Hey guys, uh, Walter here. Uh, before you watch this, um, spoilers ahead because I'm doing the everything in between. And also, uh, I am not going to be doing uh, rea full reactions or partial reactions on YouTube anymore because the copyright is very stringent and they're still uh, hunting me down for copyright for some strange reason. Uh, it's been so long and they're, they're now only copyright claiming it. I'm not fighting it anymore. I'm too, la I'm too lazy to fight it. I'm too tired to fight it. Um, but if you do want me to move them to my daily motion, please let me know. You can't find it if you want to see it again. Please let me know. It will be on daily motion. I feel. I hope. Uh, I but I I can't promise anything because I've deleted a lot of the old stuff. So hey, you know, I want to save space on my disk so I can do more new stuff. But YouTube keeps digging me. Uh, so yeah. Spoilers ahead, uh, there'll be a nice little annotation for you to see as well. Uh, please go to my link down, links down below. Everything will be there 1 to 12 if you want to binge watch and watch me watch Bojack and you know just watch Bojack. Um, go ahead if you want to watch the real thing go ahead as well and then come back to see my thoughts on it. It'll be in this one. Uh, I know it's a bit long but hey, what you gonna do right? Hello everybody, my name is Walter and welcome to a, a special everything in between. Now, if you guys are here from my reaction, uh, thank you guys so much for being here uh, from my reaction. Um, and uh, if you've seen the little thing at the beginning, uh, yes, I am doing uh, these type of reactions now on my daily motions. So if you would like to see more full reactions, uh, you go there, but I will still be doing these alternate things because I want to keep it fresh for me and for you guys as well. And I think it would be a good type of content. Okay, now getting into Bojack Season 5, um, it was a really good series it was a really good season okay here's the thing i hate diane win diane Guyan, whatever i hate her because she reminds me of all those bitchy girls that think they know what's best for people number one is she thinks that she knows everything because she's heard it on some hot topic fucking podcast that she's been listening to all her fucking college life and she's brought that into her 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 lifestyle and everything and she thinks she's better than everyone that's number one number two she is an enabler because she uh, she flips between Bojack and uh, herself because she sees some of herself and she understands that you know there's a bit of darkness that she's attracted to in Bojack and that's kind of formulating uh, a, a toxic relationship between the two of them and then coming back into that, that and culminating into a big black hole of darkness and when Bojack said you are just like me because there is a lot of truth to that she backfires and she she back paddles and that's that's very 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 unhealthy and number three is that she reminds me of all the girls who think that what their thought is correct not everything is black and white there is a color spectrum in the world today and i'm only riled up because of the arcs that i'm going to be talking about because there is no such thing as something where the guy was pushed to a point of almost suicide because he was he was addicted to something you know drugs alcohol whatever he is a star yes he did some drugs yes he did some alcohol fine but he he really wanted to be better and because of the things she said to him and because of all the things that happened to him throughout the 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 end of the season and that's just bojack of course it is but you know it is his own thinking in that you know things are gonna get bad again 
but it's only fueled by these type of people in his life where they're like no everything you did was wrong and i don't believe that because yes he may have made mistakes we all do because there always has been a part of us where we want to go back we want to say something we want to take back what we said we we want to make things better and we only make things worse and that's that's part of being a human being because i don't take that new mexico scene as something atrocious i take it as two people being not in the right state of mind meaning that yes she was a minor no he wasn't taking advantage of her yes he initially wanted to but then he knew he was doing something wrong and when he wanted to push away it seemed like they were getting it on but they weren't this that the reason why i'm being so angry is not because i'm some manly man who goes no all women are wrong i'm saying that there is a place and time for all these things to happen and all that culmination happens and i was angry but i was saying you know uh, at her rejecting uh Mr. Peanut Butter's gesture but I understood that because I know some people don't like grand gestures and they could have talked things out they could have they could have done so much better but she went to the extreme and that's what's wrong with these types of people because they always go towards the extreme when things don't work out in their own little world and it irritates me because not everything you would say is gonna be in that little perfect world because people will feel obligated to say okay th if this is something you're telling me it means you want me to do it for you i'm gonna do it for you and if you rebuke me on that i don't know what you want you know that's i know that's such a guy thing to say but where else can you go where else can you go there, there is no point in saying oh uh, I did this because I, I'm in that state of mind and I, th I think I'm correct in thinking that you cannot think that and yes he was an asshole during the end when you know he choked uh, Gina but again you know that is his dependency on drugs and that's why he wanted to go or you know to, to, to let it out and you know confess that he did all these things but you know obviously Gina would be in the mix and everything and you know we knew this would happen for Bojack we knew it would happen and th I think that's what all these story arcs come in it into which is feeling the worst for Bojack because I know a lot of people like these like artistic minds that take drugs and, and they want to wean off because they, they, they already feel okay but they wean back in because they, they're so in their minds about things and they wanna they wanna feel good or they wanna feel better about their situation and if you have that type of forcing you know all the shit you've done all the all the stupid shit you've done and you, they keep repeating and they keep mentioning that and they keep repenting on that you know they they not they relent on that they they never let up on it it's bound to snap someone and i think that's what led him to choke gina it's all of that and it maximizes it peaks at diane's hubris because she is a fucking bitch in that episode and i was just like i wish i could be in that scene to just fucking bitch slap her because that's what she deserves that's what she always deserved <sighs> okay <sighs> now on to now on to mr peanut butter mr peanut butter is the opposite spectrum where he is a good person but he does shitty things as well but he always tries to look on the bright things and i don't fully support him wanting to marry pickles because 
he cheated on Pickles with Diane, and, and I don't know why he he wants to even, you know, marry again because it's the first time, and by the first time you gotta ask yourself, do you really want to be married, or is there some sort of thinking that you want to escape to, and that's not healthy at all. Okay, that's just not a this is just not a healthy ideal to go towards to. But anyway, let's talk about the episodes because I got a I I've got some episodes. Okay, so episode one we were coming back to the show, we were you know getting back into it, and we see Bojack you know fully embrace the the whole show in a nutshell and coming in and saying okay you know this is this is my bag now I, I am the actor for what uh, what time is it now Filbert's uh, thing so that was really good and we understand Bojack more and that that's why it really irks me that he has these type of enablers throughout these episodes and I'll be talking about that as well um, episode 2 was about Diane's trip to Vietnam while that was really interesting in a love uh, prey I don't know I forgot what the fuck film was that, but yeah, that that film, uh, pray love life whatever. Um, it also showed her in a vulnerable spot, which I was like, okay, I, I may be willing to let go of the past, and then they 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 change it back to the old Diane because what happens is she goes back into that whole thing where because uh, Colette uh, shows her the tape again. Uh, Blazer the tape because she taped uh, that whole conversation that Mr. Uh, Bojack Horseman had with uh, the his ex, the owl ex, I forgot her name. Uh, but yeah, th that's what happens. And in episode three, um, uh, Bojack Horseman is starting to ha uh, formulate a relationship with Gina, which I talked about a little bit um, and you know Mr. Peanut Butter is having a thing with uh, Pickles and you know the second episode I really want to talk about because um, they did a really good job in the uh, Christopher and all the way with they stuff the timelines that was a really cool thing to watch in a show uh, but episode 3 was even more interesting because you know the, we know that Gina is a new character and you know she's gonna be the new love interest but you know how she became morphed into something else is is perfectly understandable as well you know she never got her shot and you know Bojack was the one encouraging it again kind of a Sarah Lynn uh, predicament there um, and uh, yeah so moving on to episode 4 is where um, you know Bojack does love all the attention that uh, he gets and uh, you know it's it's understandable because he wants to be known for something and I think you know horsing around was you know his, his young adult life and whatever uh, but yeah so I I love that there are a lot of juxtapositions in that scene and I think episode 4 was uh, the sexual uh, sexuality episode where it dived into more of the asexual life because that, that is something where I'm, I'm always like can it really happen? You know, but uh, I, I do understand the, the the idea of it because I know that sexuality is on a spectrum. Because, you know, you, as I said, love is blind. You know, you you either love something or you don't. And you know, it can be in a sexual way. It, it can be in not a sexual way because you can love something and not be sexual about it, or love something and be sexual about it. So there is uh, two coins of a same head there. Uh, okay, season. Uh, okay, episode five was about family, um, and because Princess Carolyn was always looking for a family, and I love that uh, flashback of hers where she she remember she remembers some Ram and her family, and it's a lot of like uh, broken down home as well, and I thought it was really good to see. Um, she does give uh, great sales advice to um, Sadie. The woman who she's trying to get the the baby off of because she wants to be a mother, um, and I think you know this is something she's been chasing, but she's also been uh, pushed back because she is doing another thing. You know, she's doing Philbert, um, but then obviously at the end she she gets freed up because Philbert gets cancelled. Um, 
So yeah, uh, yeah, and I said that pride overrides thought and rationality because when you you're, you're proud of something, you know, you don't really think about what you're saying. You know, you're just talking about what you're proud of, and you know, it just it just takes you out of uh, it for a while. So I just wrote that, and I thought, yeah, fun tidbit to throw out there. Um, okay, episode six was uh, more of a. Um, more of a kind of a clip thingy but i i really do like it because you know it is his mother's death um you know and the eulogy done by uh bojack was very hard thing and you know since we know about beatrice's past it makes it even more uh interesting to see how it takes on his mother and you know he does still spite her in the end which is interesting and then you know we 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 found out that you know it's the wrong parlor which you know it's a comedy so it, it makes sense but also it is kind of like a, a message for for all entertainment media i feel like because they say like um and that the show is never over you know you still gotta dance you still gotta sing you still gotta you know uh, entertain the masses um seven is where this the psychotherapist uh, also needs to uh fan because she she's hearing all this stuff uh and it's a new character again uh um dr Arinder or something like that um she's the therapist of uh, diane and then moves on to bojack of course and then i like that as well bobo the zebra um you know uh i like the conversation that they have going and then it, it, it um, uh, transitions back and forth because it's Bobo the Zebra and uh, you know um, what's this uh, blob of air um, and yeah I, I really enjoyed it and it's not only because it's two stories simultaneously you know we, we do understand that Bojack does need a push into these uh kind of things where you know since uh, a friend is doing it he's like okay you know since a friend is doing it i might as well do it because hey you know i don't i don't feel like i'm alone uh, which is pr perfectly normal and by the way i'm reading off of my notes so um it's not full it's just bullet points but i'm just trying to remember and the notes are helping me um okay this, uh episode eight was the halloween party where um we see a lot of uh the the four the three marriages that this the first one the second one and the third one and we see that it's all because of him mixing with other people and now that he's older he's a bit more you know he doesn't want to party as more anymore and you know he doesn't want to really mingle because he doesn't feel like he's in place anymore uh he he wants to be with his girlfriend but now because his girlfriend is young she wants to party she's the party type uh but she doesn't feel that anymore i guess uh but yeah this was a more well done one because we see mr peanut butter in a different light because whereas in the past he would be like oh i want to i want to see these other people i want to talk to them i haven't talked to them in a while uh, I think uh, to him then you know it becomes a routine and you know he's been so much out of touch with the current technology or media that he is feeling out of place with this girlfriend of his new girlfriend of his but he also wants to make it work because he d does genuinely, genuinely like her um, I also said that um, you know uh, relationships take work you know it's, it's not about just oh you know i like you and you know i want to make you my girlfriend or boyfriend or whatever you know it does take work in that you know you, you uh, constantly need to make sure that your girlfriend or boyfriend is feeling okay you know blah 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 if they're enjoying the party or not um and that's always something you need to keep in mind okay uh episode nine is uh, where hollyhock returns and we find out that Bo uh, bojack is dependent on opioids uh, or painkiller addiction um, and I can say that uh, I said that the old flames come back to a hunch because um, Stilton comes back in this episode and uh, Princess Caroline uh, need needed to deal with that and she did and I thought she did a good job with that but also you know he b brought up a good point he's like well you know I did say adoption and you didn't want to do it with me but my opinion on that is she did want to do it on her own and I feel like she is very independent in the way she wants to do it on herself but you know it took her 
to realize that okay I'm I'm really old now you know I, I don't have much opportunity to to do it still was my last shot still was the last shot so hey um okay uh, episode 10 was the premiere oh this one this one was the one that really got me to hate Diane because it saw me in her most toxic bitchy fucked up mode ever um, and uh, it carried over from the last one because he purposely got into an accident to get opiates because he made uh, um, uh, a promise to Hollyhock that he wouldn't take drugs unless he really needed it um, and I noted down that power couple names are very weird indeed uh, because uh, the original power couple name for Bojack and, and Gina was Bojina and I was like really? you wanna go with that? Um, but yeah it's, it's uh, whatever um, and I said premieres are intense because this is what happens during the premiere where you know s certain parties feel that they're not being credited enough for example the the joke jokesters that felt that their their uh, comedy bit wasn't being credited but they agreed to release it because they they got invited to the premiere which I feel like well maybe they did it because they they did not have enough money and wanted to just be a part of something and I think that really makes sense as well but this is really what got me to head to him she wants Bojack to talk about something he doesn't want to talk about and this carried over from the past episode where you know uh, she heard about the, the tape and she wanted to talk about it but she didn't want to confront him about it and that's first of all that's a very cowardly move if you don't want to confront him about it and then you want to bring it up that's a bitchy move that's a fucked up bitch move that only a bitch would make and I'm sorry if that offends you but I don't fucking care because if you do this you're not only being hypocritical but you're just showing that you are fucked up because you don't want to bring it up there and then okay Boja you know what fuck you but I heard this thing, you know, from Colette, and I want to talk to you about it. Just tell me the truth. What did you do to, do to that girl? Did you push yourself on her? If he says, yes, but I realized that I was wrong and pulled back, then you can say whatever you want. But she didn't. She said, uh, you know, all these things that didn't pertain to that message, well, he, she did say it was fucked up but again you know he did say that I can see both sides I'm not saying she is the, the, the devil in this I'm not trying to play uh, devil's advocate now I still hate Diane because of the way she did things you know first with uh, Miss Sabrina but now with Bojack you know she could have easily solved this but she didn't and I, I feel like she didn't or she won't learn why she's hated and it just irks me that crawls under my skin and yes you can say you know he was a douchebag for for even wanting to have sex with her but he didn't he was out of state of mind and i know that people say well does that really does that really taking him out of the equation then Yes, because he doesn't know what he's doing. He's he's she's as I said, if you are if you are an easily drunkard person, like you have a designated driver, you need to have a designated buddy to say, Hey bro, you know what? You've had too much too many drinks, man, let's go home. You're you're doing stupid shit and I don't want you to, to do any more stupid shit. Let's go home. That's that's great. Go home. Go fucking home. I don't care. You have a designated buddy. Listen to that guy. He's not drunk. Okay. But if you're going to say you've never accidentally hit on someone because you were super fucking drunk. You're, you're fucking lying. Because this is the base of human nature. You cannot stop the forces of human nature. You can say all the shit you want on message boards and say I'm a fucking sexist pig. I am only saying this because Diane said no. I don't think you're a good guy, but 
you are an asshole and I'm like you're just contradicting yourself you are being condescending and you're contradicting yourself you are a fucktard okay and the last two episodes uh, episode 11 where you know he peeked into choking Gina that was because of his paranoia and his depression uh, which was caused by Diane by the way I don't know why he's still friends with her I just I don't and episode 12 where it was the finale and she finally got help and you know he still went back to he still went back to die and I don't know why and I won't I won't say he did the, the right thing by falling and dying but I will say he did the right thing by going to rehab okay that's the first step in a long step but you know he she did try to wean off of drugs so I don't know what extra help is is gonna do to him but hey We've always got season six to fall back on, okay? So, I just feel like Diane is a bitch because she didn't bring it up and because she felt like she didn't want to rub more salt. On. If you want to be a bitch, go be a bitch full on. Press him for the for his mom's death press him for what happened in New Mexico press him and say this is not gonna fly by me I'm gonna write a shit piece about you and it's gonna go and it won't make a difference but it'll make me feel better and I'll be like okay I don't I don't agree with you but at least you're doing something full on and that's the reason why I kind of support Bojack is because he does things full on you know he doesn't he, he does double back on some things, but you know, that's what happens when you go full on and that's why You always take the shots you don't miss, you know And that's just that's just my opinion and I'm sorry if I if, I, if I'm getting riled up But I hate these type of bitches who go around and say no my opinion is bad because this 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 and asshole guys is this 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 and I'm like, then why don't you try to talk to them? Why don't you try to understand where they're coming from? Because from my point of view, she understands where she, she where he's coming from. And where he's coming from is relatable to her. And she doesn't want to do anything about it. Because if she does anything about it, she has to do something about herself. So, there you have it. Okay? That is my rant on Diane and a brief review of season 5. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I took too much, too much time talking about Diane. Um, so if I seem salty about something, it's Diane. So anyway, I'm, I'm done. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the flip side. See you then.